y'all welcome back to my channel I just wanted to take the time today and show you a little bit about a really cool update that's being added to my garden that update basically includes um, a greenhouse and what's happening is my dad decided to take a tool shed and he is repurposing it and turning it into a massive greenhouse for our yard as you can see behind me so now I'm just gonna show you a little bit of how it's going and um, give you an update basically stay tuned so as you can see this greenhouse transformation is coming along really well um, what I will do is I'll add some before and after clips right now so that you can see how well it's uh, come along so far um, and you can get a better idea of, of what it looked like before um, but it, it's really coming along nicely and what we have here is this right here that I'm pointing to um, if, if you can see that's the fiber glass panel I think it's what it's called and my dad is putting that around the whole greenhouse right now but before he did that he did the insulation which is basically the like the plastic that you're seeing around there he did that first and that took a little while because it was so windy and rainy earlier earlier this week so it just took some time to get done um, but he finally got that part done and he's doing this by himself and I'm so grateful um, so now that he has the insulation he's putting up the, the fiber panels um, and he has a few right there and he also put some wood panels along the fiber panels so it's looking really good and it's coming to life and this area right here that you see this is where we're going to keep our tomato plants because we would like to grow tomato plants year round um, especially during the winter months so we're gonna keep those in there and then over there it's hard to see right now but in that area that's taller that's where we're gonna keep our fruit trees um, and that's why that area has to be a little bit taller because the fruit trees that we bought will probably get no more than seven or eight feet but we just wanted to give it room to grow so okay y'all so I wanted to show you this part of the greenhouse like I said in the other clip this is the area where we are going to keep our fruit trees um, so we're going to have about five in here um, including the peach tree that we already have so those are going to come in this area and it's a little bit taller than this section because obviously you know the fruit trees can get a little tall um, I don't think they'll get any bigger than seven feet, honestly, but just in case we have it, uh, you know, some, some room for it to grow. Okay, y'all, now that you just got done looking at the greenhouse and how it's coming along, I want to just give you a quick tour of the garden and just check out how everything is growing. Okay, let's look. Okay, so right here, so I still need to get this one filled with the soil so that I can put more herbs um, over there and I will do that probably this upcoming week but in this bed you can see that things are growing um, a little bit more than they were the last time you saw it so this again is like thyme or something y'all I forget um, but this is basil it's kind of small it kind of got a little disease because we've had a lot of rain um, there's really nothing I can do about that but I'll probably take the diseased parts of the plant off so that it can try and, and still thrive um, but this right here is Swiss chard, obvious, obviously, excuse me. And then we have some cilantro back there. And then over here, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see some ceilings right there. Okay. They're very small. And that is either, um, lavender or rosemary, I believe. And we, we, we put them all throughout here. So... They're just a little, the small seedlings that it's kind of hard to see them um, thoroughly. But those are, are a little bit bigger back here. So that's our small herb garden section. And, okay, so let me take you over here. And this is our peach tree. It's looking very good and healthy. We had to cover it with a trash bag and I'll, I'll put a picture right now. We had to cover it with a trash bag this past week because it got kind of cold at night. It got a little chilly at night so we had to cover it but you still see the peaches right there. Still doing well. Still looking nice. 
very very nice I'm still shocked that we even have any peaches because we just got this tree not too long ago and you see those peaches right there hopefully you can it is so sunny today so sunny very nice peach tree and this peach tree is gonna go in that greenhouse once it is finished okay or, or at least it'll, it'll go in there during the cold months of course now I'm gonna show you this area so and it's really just one pot um I'm gonna take these old herbs out they're just herbs that we had in another area of the garden um but this right here is broccoli I think you know I don't label things but I think that's a broccoli that has now um, started to sprout so hopefully we get some broccoli soon and this right here um, is again I forgot I think that's an onion okay and right here I have some bell peppers that are looking really really good um, as you can see we have a few on here We have a few bell peppers on here. Um, this is one. Let me see. There's another one. And then there's, an, there, there's a few more um, in there. I don't know if you can see. But I'm going to harvest these soon. And they're actually red bell peppers. So I think they'll get ripe even if I harvest them. And just let them sit in the home. In the house. Pardon me. In this bed, um, we have basically a lot of Brussels sprouts. Which are right here. I know it might be hard to see because we have this insect netting that I don't want to take off right now. But we have Brussels sprouts right here. And then we have a lot of beets in the midst of this. And then behind that we have lettuce. Okay. And that's a Brussels sprout that's just starting to really grow. We don't have any actual Brussels on our uh, plants yet. But we are hoping that we will get some soon. Okay. And then I'll take you over here, um, and this bed is mostly cabbage. Um, and we have the red cabbage and then the, the green cabbage. Um, and then I think that's more cabbage back there. So, that's coming along nicely. This took a little bit, a, a, a little longer to, to get started, but it's starting to grow a little bit better. And I'm probably going to use some fertilizer in the garden this week anyway. Okay. And then over here we have our um watermelon plant i know it's still crazy that we're trying to grow watermelon in the fall um we we do have an actual um i guess blossom right there so hopefully it will get um pollinated yeah so that that that, that is a blossom right there and we're hoping hoping that it will get pollinated soon um but if not that's okay and this right here is our chickpea plant, which, you know, it hasn't been growing as much. It got this size, and then it just kind of stopped. So, we're not really sure what to do with it. We'll still be patient. But this is our black-eyed pea plant, as I've shown you in the past. We've already gotten some peas out of here. And I'll put a clip in there so that you can see. But yeah, these look really healthy. We have quite a few peas on here. Um, or pea pods, if you will. So, it's looking really good. Okay. And now I'll take you over here. So, this garden bed basically has some onions. Some actual onion bulbs. And then we have green onions, as you can see right here. These will probably be harvested soon. Um, possibly today. And then we have some carrots. And then we also have some more seedlings that we put in here. You know, and it's not growing as, as much as it should. I think that's because this bed isn't getting as much sunlight due to the fact that it's in the way of some trees. We have about four trees that are blocking this bed from getting adequate sunlight. So, okay. It has this is the last bed that I'm going to show y'all. Um, it's the last of four beds. And as you can see in here, we have a lot of greens. So many greens. Um, it's hard to see because of the, the netting that's over it. But again, I don't feel like taking that off. Um, so, we have mustard and turnips mixed in here. Mixed all through here. And then we have a row of Brussels sprouts. 
We're gonna try our best to get some Brussels sprouts. We have them planted all over the garden. And then we also have some spinach, if you can see. It's so sunny, but <laughs> that is some spinach right there. And then we have some carrots. Oh, it's so hard to see. Some carrots, and then we have another thing of spinach. You can't even see that, but it's right there. But yeah, this is gonna be eating for Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. Hey y'all, okay, thank you so much for watching the garden tour and the greenhouse update. I will definitely keep you updated on everything in the garden, including the greenhouse. Um, I forgot to show you the pears, but honestly, they're just growing and they're doing well. Um, but yes, that's all for today. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.